Speaking to reporters, its president, Datu Sri Ma Siu Kiong, said the proposal by the EC is far-reaching and would affect the party's structure. Kita telah buat simulasi di mana berapa kawasan dun dan parlimen yang kita telah bekerja kuat dan kita jangka ada peluang kemenangan. Tetapi lepas pertukaran sempadan ini, kita juga bimbang. Sebab bagi tempat yang kita telah berusaha lama, sekarang telah tukar ke lain tempat. So ini tentu akan menjejaskan kita lah ha? dan kita kuatiri. Oleh itu di tempat-tempat ini kita akan membuat uh, surat ha? untuk membantah. He was commenting on the latest EC re-delineation exercise which will see parliamentary and state constituencies across the country undergo name changes and amendments to their existing electoral boundaries. Gerak Khan is expected to contest in 45 parliamentary and state seats in the 14th general election, and all the seats are affected by the latest EC exercise. It was reported that the number of parliamentary and state assembly seats in the peninsula will stay the same, but the number of state assembly constituencies in Sabah will increase by 13 to a total number of 73 seats. The proposal, however, drew criticism from various parties who, among others, claimed the exercise would affect their racial composition in extreme ways.